right, Ms. G has joined me, and it's time for entertainment. Hello, Ms. G. Hello. I wasn't expecting to see you, but you're here. <laughs> so it's all good. And uh, today we uh, attended the launch of um, Dina Asamoah, veteran gospel musician. Yes, I can call her that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We saw her very active uh, during the election. She was on almost all the MPP platforms. And gratefully... I think she's, she's actually called Evangelist. Evangelist Dina Asamoah. And now she's an... A tourism ambassador. Okay. Yes, and uh, she's launching or she launched her Abba Father concert scheduled for the 3rd of December today. Now, during her interaction with Becky, uh, they talked about why she isn't married after all these years, yet she's a successful musician yeah. and all that. And it will surprise you what she had to say or what her response was. <laughs> The Bible says he will provide a helper for every individual. I know that marriage does not exist in heaven, but that does not also mean that marriage is not a good thing. But I know that God makes all things beautiful in his own time. And even though I am still single, the Lord gives me strength to do his work. So I'll urge the public to be patient. When God permits, I'll get married. I find pleasure in doing God's work. Marriage may deny a lot of pastors and Christians from inheriting the kingdom of God. Just as Paul said, if this will deny me the kingdom of God, then I must be cautious. The lives and careers of many of my colleagues in the industry have been ruined by their marriages. So why shouldn't I take my time so I don't fall victim? Uh, sex is the only thing that is stopping people from going to heaven because apart from staying together in marriage, it's not about sex, but you need to find a partner who will understand you. Okay, so until then, Evangelist uh, Dinah as someone remains single. Yeah. But I'm not sure a lot of men of God will be happy with that assertion that, you know, marriage will deny a lot of them the kingdom of God. Yeah, not quite. Yeah. Quite well, um, she has her own, she's putting her own interpretation to things. So. Well, hmm. so at the launch we met uh, CC Chum, who is also a gospel musician, and you know that the Adun TV, our sister station, has started the gospel rock show yep. every Sunday, and this Sunday she's on. So Becky spoke to her about, you know, the industry and also the gospel rock show happening this Sunday. <laughs> We are trying our best, but um, music industry as a whole, I mean, is not doing us any good. Yeah, yeah. A lot is wrong. A lot. A lot. Our royalties on all that, everything, everything is wrong about our industry. If you look at our old um, musicians, the way they die, the way they... They get sick and they don't even have money to go to hospitals and even where they stay, I mean, it's 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 wrong, it's wrong. So, um, in our music industry as a whole, I mean, we need to, I mean, wake up, yeah. A Dome TV Gospel Rock Show, you're on board. What should we expect? Yeah, it's happening live this Sunday and you can't afford to miss this one. I mean, you should expect Cece doing her own thing as usual. I mean, come and let's praise God, let's enjoy ourselves. That's it.
All right, so uh, that's the situation we're speaking about the industry, and we're looking forward to her uh, making some great yeah. impact this Sunday. I think it's fair to say she's one of the prettiest. Yeah, she is. She is. She is one of the prettiest also for Miami's you find in town. And so I'm sure that the, the congregants at her husband's church, you know, have certain standards <laughs> to look up to. I know, right? You know. Okay, so I was telling you two days ago that my crush was in town. Yeah. And I haven't told you more about that engagement. So, Bisola Ayola okay. is in town. She's a signee of Temple Management. And then we talk about life after BBA. Bisola has a daughter out of wedlock. So, we touch on that because her baby dad, or yes, the father of the baby, was out recently, you know, talking a lot about their relationship. And then we spoke some more about industry romance. It's been interesting, you know, but it wasn't such an easy journey. Like when I got out of Project Fame, I just felt, oh, yes, okay, people have seen me, so everything's going to fall into place. But it didn't work that way. Yeah, I still had to put in a lot of hard work, trying to break into an industry I had never been in before, which is movies, music. I was so hard. I, I did sign a deal that wasn't so favorable to me. And then I said, you know what, just keep doing what you're doing. And it wasn't up until about 2014 that, you know, I started getting a little bit of recognition here and there. And then social media actually helped. I started putting out short Instagram skits, yeah. you know, because people- selling more and more <laughs> bread and all, and all of that, yeah. <laughs> so you know, I started putting out those skits and sort of kind of made my social media my own PR company just mm -hmm. to showcase myself and stuff that I could do. And then last year, auditions for Big Brother Niger came up and I'm like, okay, yeah, great, let's do this. And I made it through to the house. A lot of people keep asking, oh, who do I know that helped got me LinkedIn? Man, they don't know that I had been auditioning for that show for about eight years, you know, it's for Big Brother yeah, for Nigeria. Big Brother, yeah, for years, not just Nigeria. You know, it's sometimes they tell you Big Brother Africa. Africa you know, I have been auditioning for it. Somehow, Big Brother Nigeria was the one for me, and I made it through to the house. And you know that moment when you're in the house, you think that mm, yes, they keep telling you, oh, you, you, you guys are stars, you guys are stars, and you're like, mm, we've heard, we've heard, and you think to yourself that you're really big. When you come out, it's even way bigger than you imagined. So it's been, you know, sort of difficult trying to adjust. Do yeah. you think that your your baby dad yes. decided to, you know, rub in your fame or, you know, take away from your fame when he came out recently to talk about, you know, your relationship? I wouldn't say he wanted to take a bit of that or rub off of it. Um, what was, well, you know, sometimes the media puts out wrong information, you know. Nobody called me to clarify certain things because I was still in the Big Brother Niger house. So they put out certain things about him saying that he had passed on, yada, yada, yada. And he just came out to say, yo, I'm here. There's nothing wrong with me. And I don't believe that it was because I was in Big Brother Niger that he came out to say that. I read somewhere that you mm. said that there's no way you guys are getting back together. No, I said I don't know how possible that is. We've been apart from each other for a while. We're still very good to our daughter. Um, we still talk. We're friends, first off, you know, because we have a child together. But getting back together, I don't know. I don't know. But you never know what the future holds. Mm. Well, you see this beautiful child I brought to the world. I didn't do it myself. You know, it's we, it was both of us. So I'm smiling because of my daughter. Every time I talk about her, I I kind of light off. So yes, yeah, we're still friends. Did, 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 did it derail your success a bit after Project Fame? Maybe if you didn't have her, and maybe you'd have things would have moved faster for you. Yes, I believe things would have moved a bit faster. You know, because you have to focus on motherhood. You, a child is not just a log of wood. It's mm -hmm. not just furniture that you just give it and leave there. Yes, mm -hmm. you handle it. You know, you have to cater and nurture. Um, even women in other business fairs, you know, they can tell you how difficult it is juggling motherhood and work. Alright, so I, I'm sure you are so happy yeah, now. Yeah, You're so yeah, content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, um, I am, um, and uh, I look forward to more engagement because she said she'll be here before Christmas right. and hopefully she will spend Christmas here. So, Keep a room for us in your home. We might pass through. Now, a sad story, though, but we are very, very grateful for the life of Banky W. You know, the few days ago, when I was telling you about Drake's story, when he got a bra on stage, yeah. I mentioned Banky W. Little did I know at that time that Banky had undergone surgery and he was recuperating. He shared pictures yesterday. It was scary, the kind of pictures Banky shared on his Instagram, telling us how he had, you know, skin cancer he had to go for surgery to take off some tumor. So let's see the pictures of um, Banky W uh, in the hospital. Okay, so those are pictures of him. And there's a scar he showed. Jesus, that scar is 
so scary if you can see that scar and he tells you know that this is the third time he's undergoing yeah, that's, 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 that's serious one yeah you're like whoosh this is the third time he's undergoing surgery he had the first one the th first two about 10 years ago and um, he had this one just recently and he says it's a skin tumor a cancer yeah. somewhere in the skin it looks very actually. very terrifying when i saw this i was like whoa but good to know that his it's wife fine. to be yeah. uh, should i call they are engaged so that's his wife yeah, you know yes uh a day so uh, has been by him all through and hopefully they were supposed to get married on the 19th uh -oh. That's next weekend. I don't know what's going to happen. If that marriage is going to come on or... But he's looking quite going cheerful. Yes, he in needs to. Place. If you see the right up, you, tell, you can tell that he's very grateful for life. Yeah. And he's thankful that he's doing well now. So our prayers are with you, the Instagram couple. We <laughs> hope that yeah, you, know, you get better soon and then that yeah. marriage comes on as soon as possible. But that will be it for Entertainment Israel. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Miss G. But uh, get well soon, Bank GW. And thank you for bringing us entertainment, Miss G.